This is an internal door in my house. The house is over 20 years old. When I had the house built, I first had these Gainsborough lever line door locks installed. They have a privacy snip inside, but obviously it's not a security door lock because all you need to do is insert a pin into the hole and it will release the little lock. In more recent years, I installed to the door. There's one here on the bottom of the door and there's another one at the top. The process is simple, just push the bolt in and put the padlock on. Now there's nothing of value in this room but I just wanted a room that I could put things away if there are visitors or let's say if you got little toddlers running around. It certainly works, however it's rather troublesome and it certainly doesn't look nice and the wife is not happy with it. I've had it like this for several years now but in this video I will replace that Gainsborough lever set lock with a carbine electronic digital lever set lock. This makes it much more convenient to lock and unlock the door without looking for a key and after I've installed this lock I will remove the top and bottom. Join me in this video as I do this. Let's start with an unboxing of the Carbine Electronic Digital Lever Set. It is a keyless entry lock using a pin code. It has a 6 pin C4 cylinder key to 5 pins. Allows the use of 20 user codes. It's easy to install and retrofits for standard lock sets. Which is what I'm aiming to do. It has a key override. It has a 60mm or 70mm adjustable back set. It needs four AAA standard 1.5 volt alkaline batteries. It suits door thicknesses from 35 mm to 51 mm. It has been tested for 250,000 cycles, also moisture and salt spray tested. That's the product code. Let's open it up. Inside, there is an installation instruction sheet. It's two pages. And right on top is a template for cutting the holes in the door. The second sheet is a user guide on how to operate the lock set. It also is printed on two pages. Let's see what else is inside. A pack of four AAA batteries, but you can buy them without the batteries. This packet contains the interior lock assembly, the lever, the thumb turn, and then if I lift up this black plastic cover, it reveals the slots for the four AAA batteries to power the unit. Turn it around. That's the inside of the interior assembly. Sticker which says warranty void if this component is disassembled sticker which says the model is A33-WG040. There is the socket that takes in the data cable from the exterior lock assembly. This is the steel mounting plate for the interior assembly. This is the exterior lock assembly. The lever with the key cylinder, the digital keypad and this is the reverse side of the exterior assembly. This is the data cable to connect to the interior assembly. There's a black rubber plate. If I just slide that out, that's the inside. Put that back. The lever set comes supplied from the factory, configured for a right swing door. So if you're looking at the door from the outside of the door, the door will be hinged on the right hand side. It is very simple to configure this for a left swing door. I will show you how you do it. There is a flip head screw here. All I need to do is unscrew this and turn the lever set 180 degrees around. The screw is out and now I can turn the lever set 
around and put the screw in there to lock it this way from the outside it's configured for a left swing door but my door is a right swing door so I will return this to the factory configuration screw is in the slot I just need to screw it back down screw is locked down it is now reconfigured to the right swing door now we open this box and see what is inside we have the latch this latch is adjustable from 60 millimeter back set to 70 millimeter all I need to do is pull this out and that's 70 millimeter this is back to 60 millimeter two keys for the cylinder this is the strike plate nothing fancy and this is the dust box to go behind the strike plate and in the packet there's a set of four metal mounting screws and there's also four timber mounting screws there's also a pin I'll show you what this pin is used for in order to change the configuration of the interior lock assembly from a right swing door to a left swing door I first have to remove the lever to do this so insert the pin into that hole and push lightly and then I'll be able to pull the lever out next on the inside of the assembly loosen that screw the screw will not fall out it is retained in there when the screw is loosened it will release this assembly it will not fall out now I can turn to the other side and if I screw that in that will give me a left swing door configuration and I remount the lever but my door is right swing configuration so I will return this to the factory configuration and put the lever back in simply slide the lever in and you'll snap lock done let's begin the retrofit process by removing the existing Gainsborough lever line lock set I'll remove the exterior faceplate this is the existing lever the latch is in there I will unscrew this plate with the exterior lock assembly unscrewed and removed all I need to do now is just pull this out and the reason is because there's two cylinders to which the exterior screws screw into so once they're out this just can be pulled out pull out the bar and then push the uh, latch out that's it that's the latch and that's the bar the new carbine digital lever set lock it requires a diameter of 54 millimeter and you can use a 60 millimeter back set or a 70 millimeter back set I will measure to check size of the diameter and the back set using a vernier caliper the diameter is 53.5 millimeter so close enough to 54 and let's measure the back set from the edge of the door to the center of these holes I measure 59 and a half millimeters so it's close enough to 60 millimeters so here I have the new carbine latch try and fit it in a little bit too tight right at the end here it's catching I just need to chisel this bit out I have here a narrow chisel and I'll try and work at it from this side be careful not to uh, take away too much let me try the latch again right I think that's good it's in I'll now install the exterior lock assembly I've put some electrical tape here because when I inserted it in 
to the latch I didn't like the fact that the thin wires were sitting on top of the bare metal and scraping it so that's just a little bit extra protection slide it in there push the rod into the hole and uh, gently work it in there all right that's nice that's flush at this time i can put the two screws into the plate i'm not going to screw them in completely just gives it a bit of allowance and free play now i will install the interior lock assembly this is an inside view of the latch and the exterior assembly that's the data cable i have the mounting plate past the data cable through this hole at the top left hand corner then take the two guiding rods and slot them into the hole at the two o'clock and the six o'clock position take the two double a metal screws put them into the screw hole here and there and then tighten them make sure you screw both sides evenly so that the plate is not warped that's it on the left it's tight on the right it's now tight Take this data cable and just pass it through there. Next, take the interior lock assembly, remove the black plastic cover, connect the data cable from outside to the inside socket. There's a pink color on the left side, you have to match the pink to the pink color on the male connector on this side. Like so. Gently, these things do not need a lot of force. There, that's connected. And now make this square rod into this square hole. And when I've done that, I can take the two BB screws, put them in there, and screw the interior lock assembly to the mounting plate. Remember to screw it in evenly on both sides so it's not lopsided. Don't over tighten because this is plastic, it'll crack. That's it. Now I get the uh, packet of four AAA batteries and put them in. Make sure I have them in the correct polarity. That's it, you heard the beep, it's powered up. I just put the black cover on, clip down, and with the thumb turn in a horizontal position, it means that it disables the exterior lever from engaging the latch. I'm gonna test it. I'm turning the lever on the outside and you'll see that the and you'll see that the tongue does not retract. So that means it requires a keypad entry or the key retract the tongue. If I put the thumb turn into a vertical position, you hear the sound beep. And then if I now turn the lever on the outside, you'll see the latch withdraw. And this lever moves as well. So we know that it is functional. That's good. I have not replaced the existing strike plate yet. Let's see if it works. No, the existing strike plate doesn't work. It's too small. It means I have to change the strike plate. This is the original strike plate of the Gainsborough lever line lock set. I will have to change it because the hole is too small. This is the strike plate. You can see the edge of the door is here. This should be at the edge of the door. And because this is round and there has a straight edge, I'll need to take off a bit, set a straight edge and go in. The new strike plate is also longer. I'll just mark that out. So I'll have to cut that out. That's where it should be. Put two drill holes in the center. I will not install the dust box because this is indoor and to install the dust box I have to make the hole even bigger I don't want to do that, there's no need I'll just install the strike plate That's good We'll now test to see if the strike plate has been installed correctly Close the door Yep The latch has correctly engaged the strike plate So that's good so let's see how you use the lock system. It is presently in locked mode. I insert the key at the 3 o'clock position, turn it to the 12 o'clock, and that unlocks it. To withdraw the key, I have to turn the key back to the 3 o'clock position. So that is good.
the default factory pin code is one two three four five six so let's test that you heard the click and the green light and it unlocks the system it leaves it unlocked for about seven seconds and then it returns it to the lock mode I'll do that again the click and the green light in seven seconds it will lock again and there it's locked now we change the programming code press hex for one second press the existing code one two three four five six press hex zero then enter the new code two three four five six seven finish with hex let's test the new code two three four five six seven there the free program this system allows the user to add in 20 user codes so let's create code for user 1 press hex for one second press the existing programming code 2 3 4 5 6 7 press hex 1 press the new user code I will make it 0 0 0 1 press hex finish so now test user code 001 there it's done it let's delete the code for user 1 press hex for one second enter the programming code which is 2 3 4 5 6 7 press hex 2 enter the user code to be deleted 0 0 0 1 press hex to finish so let's test code 0001 now it doesn't open anymore that's good there is also an option to delete all user codes in programming mode you can also turn on or off the door lock operation volume and there's also the option to disable all user codes during a vacation mode but I will not run through that demonstration as the instructions are in the user manual this is great because it makes it a lot easier to access this room and lock it when I need to. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.